contestant number seven. Contest chair full of Toastmasters. Today, we were taken on a journey. A journey with danger, a journey with meaning. And I absolutely love it. Well done, Tulia. Did you notice how Tulia began? She stood back, waited for the contest chair to leave the stage, and then began. That shows poise, that shows presence of mind. And then she stepped forward and she plunged us into the heart of a story. And what a story it was. Psychologists say that telling stories is one of the best ways to make our speeches memorable. And you are a wonderful storyteller, Tulia. And I encourage you to continue to tell stories, because I suspect you have many more to tell. The second thing that I liked about Tulia's speech was her ability to connect with the audience. When we speak, the whole objective is to reduce as much as possible the distance between us and our audiences. And Tulia did this in a variety of ways through her eye contact. And I particularly like the fact that she made an effort to address the people at the sides of the rooms, because this is a wide auditorium. Also her facial expressions, and also her voice and the use of her gestures. Well done. The thing that I liked the most about your speech was the emotion with which you told your story. You know, as speakers, we're taking a risk every time we stand on the stage. And the more emotion we show, the bigger the risk. In English, we have a saying that we are going up a tree and climbing out on a limb. It's risky out on a limb, but that's also where the sweetest fruit is, and you plucked it today. So how do we, do we take this great speech and make it even better? A few suggestions. Let's pick up on the issue of emotion and energy. You have energy. You have unbridled energy. You're like a thoroughbred racehorse that wants to go and go and go. And it's wonderful to see. But like a racehorse, remember, every now and then, the jockey has to pull back a little bit on the reins to slow it down. There was the point when you got to the third castle, and there was the dragon, and you were here, and you were there, and you were all over the place, and you, got, you were talking so fast that at times I had difficulty following you. My suggestion is that you look for places in your speech where you can put in a nice, dramatic pause. They say that music is what happens between the notes. I think a great speech happens between the words during those pauses we do to internalize. The second thing is the message. There were many messages in this speech. Only we can know about ourselves through ourselves. Embrace the unknown. I thought you tried to do a little bit too much. My suggestion would be to trim down the number of messages, come at it like a laser, and reduce it to one, so that there's one thing that we can remember. Like Da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Finally, your conclusion. I would have liked to see you connect somehow more with the audience by asking us perhaps what rusty armor we might be wearing ourselves, and that would bring the speech full circle. To conclude, wonderful storytelling, great content, good connection and emotion. Remember to focus the message and make it relevant to us.